Hi, welcome everyone to Metabolic Biochemistry. My name is Charles and I'm the subject coordinator this year for Metabolic Biochemistry. Um, we hope you have a good year and it's an enjoyable experience for you. There is an email that you can contact us on to ask any questions about the course and that email is metabolic at uts.edu.au. The textbook for the course is this one. It's called Leninger, Principles of Biochemistry. Um, we don't mind what edition you get, five, six or seven. They're all pretty good. Um, and there's also an online version if you'd rather that. Uh, having the textbook can be handy, particularly as we are going to an open book exam this year. Your assessments for this year um, include these five things. There's the practical data sheets, the laboratory report. Um, there's participation in something called Peerwise. There's the mid-semester online quiz. And finally, the end of semester open book uh, exam examination. Let's go into these in a bit more detail now for you. So first up, your practicals. Um, so in these pracs that you come to, um, three hours a week, most weeks, but there is a break for Easter and a break for the mid-semester. And interspersed amongst these practicals are a couple of tutorials um, as well. Um, and we will try and teach you the common things about being in the lab. So we'll teach you common laboratory assay techniques. Um, we will teach you pipetting, things like that. And then we'll get more advanced. We'll start talking about regression line analysis. And we'll, we'll teach you how to do those things using Excel and plotting graphs in Excel. And then there's enzyme kinetics, which really is what this subject's all about. So we'll try and instill on, in you an understanding of enzyme kinetics. Um, to assist yourselves, what we ask you to do is some pre-lab quizzes and maybe some pre-lab dilution calculations as well before coming to your practical. Um, and that will form part of your grade. So you'll each be given a, a lab manual, a data sheet book, um, and in that book you'll record all your results um, and you'll be graded on that book as well as being graded for doing the, the um, pre-lab quizzes and the pre-lab dilution calculations. Um, you'll also be graded for neatness and accuracy and marks for laboratory conduct. So we want you to behave in the laboratory because the laboratory can be a dangerous place. Um, there will be a more detailed grading rubric for the data sheet book uh, found on UTS online. At the end of the practicals, there's two pracs in particular, um, where you'll be asked to write, uh, where the data is going to be collated. So the whole class of 500 odd students will collate their data and you'll be asked to do some analysis of that data and write it up as a scientific report. Um, and this is important because if you want to become a scientist down the track, you'll need to write scientific papers. And so we do encourage the correct use of scientific English. Um, we, want, we encourage you to do some research in relevant scientific journals and cite those journals in your scientific report. But we also require you to do some statistics on the data. And, and we also want you to learn from this experience that sometimes science isn't always black and white. The answers are often not what you'd expect. So we hope you get a lot out of writing your scientific report. It's worth about 20% of your final grade. Okay, so that's the prax out the way. Then there's the learning. And one of the best ways to learn is for you guys to teach each other. Um, and there's an online way we can do that because there's you know, such a big cohort of students. And that's something called Peerwise. And so Peerwise allows you to write multiple choice questions to each other and answer each other's multiple choice questions. Um, so we've actually given you 10% 10, 10 of your final grade um, is, your is based on your participation in, in Peerwise. There is a rubric for understanding how we're going to grade you with Peerwise, and you can find that on UTS Online. Um, and so you'll, you'll be asked to write at least 10 questions on POIs throughout the semester. Five of those questions need to be in, in the first week of May. Um, and then um, the other five need to be done before the exam at the end of the year. So please keep a, keep a note of any emails or, or subject announcements for how to log into POIs and, and other things to do with POIs. 
after your first five lectures, um, you, there is a mid-semester online quiz to do. That's worth 10% of your final grade. Um, and this is so you can get an idea of how well you are learning. So this quiz will, it's, it's just a, a multiple choice quiz online through UTS online. And the questions are, can be quite tough. It's open book though, so don't worry. You get two goes at it and the best of those two goes is kept. And so this will give you a feeling for how you're learning the lecture material so far. Um, and you can get an idea then of the sort of things that we really need you to know for the end of semester open book exam. And that quiz will be open um, midway through the semester and then kept open right up until the exam. So you can do it once and then do it once, well, just before the exam if you want to, um, just to, as a refresher for some of the topics that you might cover in the exam. And then there's the end of semester exam. Um, it's worth 45% of your total grade. Um, <coughs> and it, it is open book, uh, but there are no electronic devices allowed um, with the exception of non-programmable calculators. And the things, the, the exam questions are based on your understanding of metabolic pathways rather than having to memorize metabolic pathways because you can always look up in the textbook how which way a metabolic pathway goes. But do you understand that pathway and how it influences other pathways? That's the sort of stuff we want you to know. Um, so you can expect questions on metabolic pathways. You can expect questions on energy usage because metabolic bi biochemistry is all about energy. Um, you can expect questions on enzyme kinetics and plotting data and calculating enzyme function. And there'll also be probably questions about dilutions and other practical related questions as well. So please, pracs are important. Um, and as I said, it's open book. Now, how to do well in the exam, because the exam is not easy because it is open book. It's deliberately not easy. The best thing you can do is come to the lectures. Please come to the lectures. That's the first step in understanding. That's where you get a start in understanding. That's where you can ask your lecturer questions to improve your understanding. And then it's much easier to go back over the material later to ensure that you do understand. And we, we ask, you should do this because open book exams aren't easy. You do need to understand the topics. Now there's a couple of other important things that you need to know for metabolic biochemistry. So in order to pass a subject, you need 50% or higher. Okay, good, and that's, and that's it's 50% um, in all, and so overall, uh, over all assessments, you need to get 50%. However, because the exam is worth 45%, the Faculty of Science insist that if you don't get 40% in the final exam, you will receive an X grade regardless of how well you did overall. And an X grade is equivalent to a fail. So please, please, please don't get an X grade. Be prepared for that exam. Have a good understanding of the topics, please. <clears throat> and so going forward, please log in regularly for subject announcements, lecture notes and slides, online assessment quizzes, pre-lab quizzes, practical marks and all that sort of thing, and finding answers to questions on the discussion board. Please log in regularly for all of those things as well. So have a good year. We hope you do well, and I look forward to meeting you soon.